Well, here we are at American Speedsters Proving Grounds. Uh, we're working on uh, Speeder 2. And uh, obviously this is a prototype. This is the way I uh, figure out how to make holes in the wrong places so you don't have to. Anyway, this one is quite a bit different than the original Speeder which had the uh, reciprocating drive in it. Uh, this one has uh, the chain drive on the outside as you can see and uh, the it necessitated <clears throat> a change in the front axle as you can see right here the uh, tower had to be brought forward so that when the wheels turn it does not run into the sprocket over here on the side this one actually only has three wheels on it at this point so as you can see when the front wheels turn we still have a couple of inches here so that will allow our crank to come forward another inch and a half or so. Uh, this, this model here will use regular bicycle wheels. These are just off of an old Barbie bike as you can see. Um, the rear was mounted uh, completely different than the other model. You make this little frame which is very easy. I use a uh, socket wrench to go through this hole and tighten the axle up on the inside. This will have a uh, coaster brake. Uh, another nice feature about this is you're not going to have to buy uh, hardly anything to, uh, to build this bike because even the bearings back here for the crank, I don't know if you can see that very well, but it's just a piece of uh, plastic that was salvaged from uh, where the cockpit was cut out up here. <clears throat> and here's another nice feature of this little car. The problem with the earlier one was making the crank. This little crank is fabricated out of hard copper, which makes it, uh, you know, you just cut uh, the pieces to length, uh, put the uh, elbows together, run a little solder in each joint with your uh, butane torch, and uh, there you go. Now obviously I've got some screws sticking here which would be dangerous for your kids. What you're going to do over here is, is bolt it. Um, here you can see the steering column. Uh, the hole on the left there was uh, kind of hogged out to give me clearance. The hole on the right is the proper way to do it and that'll be uh, in your plans. So um, I hope that gives you a little idea what's going on here. Um, I guess I knocked my chain out of whack a little bit here, but the chain will uh, ride up over this. Gives it a nice motor sound. Um, I've tested it out. The, uh, the crank wobbles a little bit because obviously it's um, not going to be perfect. Uh, but it does not seem to be a problem. The chain stayed on there just fine in my tests. Um, so we'll have plans here uh, shortly. Um, Maybe I'll uh, give you a little demonstration of the drive here in a second. Uh, I'll jack this up and uh, power it up. Uh, thanks for your attention.